My duty on this uh, cutter is I'm an executive officer of the Cutter Point Stewart. Uh, my job is basically uh, when the captain is gone, I am uh, second in command, I run the boat. My type of duties on board is, along with the captain, both of us will drive the boat, take us to wherever we're going, and um, ensure the safe navigation of the vessel. All right, uh, yeah, we just received uh, some uh, information from a Coast Guard Auxiliary Aircraft, and uh, we're gonna head toward that direction and uh, conduct boardings on the, the sightings that they had. We'll basically have a pre-brief, decide if there's anything uh, that's suspicious about this vessel. We'll talk about it beforehand, and uh, at that point, we'll go ahead and embark on the small boat. Four guys out here. How are you doing today? Oh, all right. All right. Want to come on? Well, um, have you been boarding by the Coast Guard before? Oh yeah. Um, when was the last time? Uh, well, I had the inspection. Yeah, when was that? Was it this late in the summer or something? Really? Or? All right, quite a while ago then, huh? Huh? About a few months ago. It was yeah, six months maybe. All right. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and come um, on board. Huh? We're gonna come on board and go ahead and do a boarding then. So this is a pretty good catch right here. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Take on the job yeah. there. Master's name is Robert. Common spelling. C. Um. He's got. He, you got PFDs and all got, that. He's got flares. Okay. He's got. Does he need a drill um, let me see, that's how I was going to check right now. Yeah, he's got a cushion. Okay. Point steward, boarding team, go ahead. What's the horsepower of your name? Uh, horsepower? Uh, 210 horsepower Tillman's. Um, right. you, have, you have catch on board, you said? Yeah, right here. Right here. And approximately how much? 100 pounds? Oh, uh, yeah, 100, 110 pounds. Uh, that's affirmative, of approximately 100 pounds over. Roger, 100 pounds of what, over? Uh, yeah, crab. Point steward, our boarding team will request a detailed location and latitude and longitude order. Point steward, latitude is 3 degrees, 1 Well, we'll board anything pretty much. Uh, that we see when we're out at sea because uh, you know you can't be too selective. We'll get on board and first thing we'll look for will be uh, safety gear and their, uh, their proper documentation and then uh, while we're on board we'll also look for uh, fisheries laws make sure they're not uh, fishing on something that's out of season or, uh, or poaching on uh, wildlife that uh, they're not licensed for. We try to be as polite as possible and get the boarding over as quick and painless as possible. We're always kind of on the lookout for uh, the, the biggest things would be uh, for drug interdiction or also illegal aliens. Those illegal aliens are probably the, the yeah. biggest uh, law enforcement problem out in this area. Over on the East Coast, uh, drugs is, is their biggest problem. But every boarding we go on to, you know, we're uh, pretty much trained to look at different things, keep our eyes open for anything out of the ordinary. But most of the public around here are just, you know, they're just recreation boaters or they're, uh, you know, commercial fishermen out to make a living. The 82-foot patrol boat is our, is our law enforcement platform for getting us out to sea, getting us out to uh, places where, you know, most smaller boats can't go. Uh, once we're out there, you can't just come right alongside with a cutter like this. That's why we have the RHI, the inflatable, that we put overboard and uh, put the boarding members on that and, and go alongside whatever boat we're going to board. Uh, with the RHI, you don't have to worry about uh, you know sc scratching their paint or our paint or anything like that. It just makes uh, going from one boat to the other a lot easier. It's really it's it's the best way to do it out here, especially when it's rough. The law enforcement is great. I love it, and uh, I like to I'd like to learn as much as I can about it. And um, I'm one of the guys on here that likes it the most. It's my lucky day, huh? 
Point Stewart boarding team. I have a vessel certificate of number when you're ready to copy over. Echo November. How copy? I'll let him know the they cutters. Know nobody's driving there. Good job, Jeff. Number 95. Separation date. Number 95. Okay, it's just a couple months out. How far off are we? Flare expired November 95, but that's kind of. I gave you a warning. So, warning. How many horsepower you got back there? Seven and a half. Seven and a half, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna have to date a point first, then cut a work cat later tomorrow. Yeah. Um, do you have a uh, life vest? Yeah, they're underneath you. Okay. Lat and long and detail location. Basically, uh, we're going to be running night ops uh, down around the California border here. So we're off to Point La Jolla here, which is just north of San Diego. We'll be running south toward the border, hitting the border here, and basically following a track line in along the border's contours in toward land. But we'll come into about uh, half a mile off the beach and run a half mile track line up the beach, following around the curve here. And uh, we'll be searching for small boats that are coming from Mexican waters into the United States waters, uh, whether they be small boats like uh, Richard Paul inflatables, uh, little ski boats, all the way up to sailboats and big power boats. And once we get through this track line here, we're going to cease operations for the night and head back into San Diego.